everyone. Welcome to Prime Letics. Coach Levitt here. If you are not a part of our community yet, please hit that subscribe button and make yourselves one of our wolves. So today we're gonna be going over how to use the shoot away gun. The gun is the most helpful thing in basketball. A lot of players know what they are. A lot of players love using them. I enjoy using them myself. If you don't have a rebounder, it's a great tool to have. If you are a coach and you need your players to do a workout, this is the easiest way for them to get shots up because now they can't complain that they don't have a rebounder. This thing does everything that you want. So today I'm gonna to be taking you step by step how to use it and give you a little demonstration of how it works. So join us on today's journey. As always, apply pressure. So the, the first thing that you want to do, and I'm sure you all know this, you want to make sure that your machine is plugged in. Now, it comes with a short cord, so you're going to need an extension cord. I mean, I don't know how long this is, like 50 feet, 100 feet, I don't know. That's, I mean, math and measuring stuff is not really my thing. That's why I coach basketball and train players, you know? So your first thing, you want to make sure it's plugged in. The second thing you want to do, you want to come over here. This tool right here, um, I don't know if coaches really care about this. I think the players care about it more because this is the sensor that tells you how many shots you make. So to make sure that you're using it correctly, you want to make sure the sensor is facing outside. Like you can't have it facing inside, it won't pick it up. So right here, it has to face outside. As you can see, this is the sensor that detects. Now this one is old, so don't judge. But so you want to make sure that you hang that sensor up facing outward so it can detect the shots. And then when you get right there, now you get the fun part. You gotta set up the poles. Make sure you're greasing your poles down. Make sure you put some type of, you know, like at least once a month, put like some, you know, some type of oil, WD-40 or something down there. Because if these poles get locked in there, I'm telling you, it will be a full day's working out trying to get them out of there. Like nothing worse than trying to get a steel pole that's rusted out of this, out of this contraption, it's terrible. So like right here, right now, almost got stuck. So just extending the poles, extending the arms. Now, after I extend, you wanna make sure you come back here. There is a lever. You wanna pull this lever up. To, and that's where you get your width from. You're hiding your width. And then you wanna pull it back. You wanna kinda, you wanna try to make it as dead on like this, uh, the returner right there, I kind of like to get it underneath the hoop, but these arms do like fold back and stuff. So you can kind of move them around a little bit. Now, you want to load your balls up. So I usually take two or three because if you take, if you try to put like four or five in here, which a lot of people do, um, sometimes the machine jams. That's, that's probably um, the only kind of the machine really. And then if you're a bad shooter and you hit the rim, it'll go out far and you got to go chase it down. So, you know, it helps you become a better shooter just because you don't want to move around too much. So now all I do is I simply turn on the machine. So this chart right here represents every side of the court. So, you know, your corners, your wings, but you got to look at your court and kind of place this part right there so that way you can know where you want to shoot um you know i just hit the middle yeah i usually do a full workout but for right now i'm hitting the middle so the time delay between passes when that ball comes out this is how much time like as soon as that ball shoots out this is how much time until the next one comes out so as soon as that ball comes out it starts ticking so you got to get your shot up quick if you're if you're trying to help a kid increase the, you know how fast they're getting their shots off work on this but start off with something that they're comfortable in so like you know when i started off i had like you know like 10 like 8 to 10 seconds between my shot was slow and then you know i worked it down gradually until it hit like two seconds in between the shot depending on what i was doing now depending on the drill you might need 10 seconds if they got to make a move and shoot the ball and then come back and reset you might need and then and then down here, so time down here is how many you're trying to get. So I'm not shooting 999, that'd be all day. So I wanna just, just for the demonstration, I'll go through about five of them. And you shoot right here. Then when you're done programming that, now you hit start. It's gonna count you down and give you a percentage. So 
you know, if you want to get warmed up, just right here. So notice, notice how the net is high. The net being high is perfect because now it's giving you that arc that you have to work on. It's kicking the ball out, giving you that arc that you have to work on. So as you see, I went one for five. It tells me my percentage right there. For the most part, it keeps an accurate, it keeps an accurate uh, count as long as that sensor, if that sensor gets foggy or dusty, just make sure you clean it off. But it reads it pretty well. It doesn't give you any false information. Um, now, side note, make sure you never, if it's jammed, which does happen, if it's jammed, sometimes the ball gets stuck, you know, stuck with the lever. They do have a fail safe here. So right here, right here is if, you know, if you do want to coach and do a drill, but if it gets stuck, you want to hit this button. And so you'll see right here, you'll hit this coach's only button. That's for a manual throw. This will actually unjam it. So, you know, if the player is standing right there, you want to make sure somebody's standing right there. And then, so as soon as I press this, this ball will shoot out. So I'm gonna let you guys see this. So I press it and that ball shoots out automatically. That's if it gets jammed up. So um, that's a little overview of it. Uh, the balls don't get jammed too much. Like I said, if you try to put more than three in there, it's just a bad situation. But other than that, this thing is the greatest thing that you can use. Um, like if you if you look right here and see like uh, their little joke right here is caution, pro, prolonged use could change your life. Like it's serious. Like all the players, all the players use this. Uh, all of my players use it. I use it. It's like, it keeps it keeps you in shape. It keeps you going. You can do different fun drills with it. If you just need a break from doing the same, you know, repetitive things. If you need players to get up shots after practice, they'll they'll be more prone to do this on this. You know, they can get about. There's no reason you can't get even with a couple kids shooting at a time. There's no reason you can't get like 250 shots up in about 20 minutes. Um, this thing does all the work for you. If you're a player and looking to get better, if you have one of these available to you, take advantage of it. Like this is everything that you need right here. This is your rebounder. This is getting your shots up. This is your passer. Like it, it eliminates all that. So if you have one in the gym, take advantage of it. So hopefully you found this video helpful to you. If you did, make sure you subscribe to us. We have great videos like this. Um, not only breaking down like machines and stuff that you can use, but breaking down your game. That's what we're here to do. So if you have any comments or, you know, questions or suggestions for videos, let us know down low in the comments or even DM us. We, we check both frequently and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So stay tuned for our next adventure. As always, apply pressure.